Hey guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to change the scale and the rotation of a virtual model in AR using finger gestures such as pinch to zoom and rotation using two fingers. So let's get started. So just open a brand new Unity project and give it a name. I'll just give it project. Go to the asset store and download the AR kit package. This one. Go inside the folder, examples, and Unity AR kit scene. This one. Just double click on this. We are going to work in this scene. So, first of all, let's download a model that we are going to use. And I'll just download a chair model. And I'm going to use this one. I will give the link in the description so you can download it. And then download the FPX model. That is this one. So, it's downloaded. And we just have to drag this .fpx file inside the assets. Go to hit cube parent and delete this cube. Drag this model that we downloaded inside the hit cube parent like this. Right click here on transform and reset. This is too small right now. So I'm going to increase the dimensions to 10. On each side and rotate this by minus 90 pull this up a little bit and we can make this chair more beautiful by adding reflection effects and lightning but right now I'm just going to stick to the topic of the video that is rotation and scaling now let's add a shadow plane so go to the search bar and type in shadow and we need this plane right here just grab this and put it inside hit cube parent like this and let's reset this as well go inside this shadow plane prefab and click on the plane and here we have two colliders one is mesh collider and one is box collider we don't need this mesh collider so just right click and remove component because that will cause problems and also the size of the shadow plane prefab is too small so let's increase this to 100 in the x direction and 100 in the z direction and let's switch on the shadows by going to directional light change the shadow type from no shadow to soft shadows and decrease the intensity of the shadow from here like this so now let's add the functionality to rotate and scale so we are going to download a plugin from the asset store and the name of the plugin is lean touch just download this free version and now it's imported so go to hierarchy right click go to this lean touch and it's added right here and now let's go to the object of whose rotation and scale we want to change so the object is this one the chair so on this chair I'll just add a component and that component will be a script so if we want to scale the object we are going to add the scale script so just type in scale and you can see this lean scale script and this script belongs to the package that we imported and as we also want to rotate the chair we are going to add the rotation script so just type in lean rotate now we have added the functionality of rotation and scaling but there are two small issues that we have to fix before running the application the first one is when we decrease the size of the model the model will no longer be touching the ground and it will look as if it's hanging in the air so to fix that we have to give our model some gravity so that when we decrease the size of the model the model will just fall down on the plane and it will look like it's sticking to the plane again so let's do that so on this chair model i am going to add some gravity and before that we have to add a box collider 
so that when the gravity acts on the chair and the chair falls down, it has to fall on the plane. And if the chair doesn't have a collider, it will pass through the plane. And we don't want that. Now let's add the gravity. And to do that, just type in rigid body. And this rigid body gives our chair gravity, as you can see right here. So if we press play, if we decrease the size of the chair to suppose 1, it will fall down like this and stick to the plane. So that's what I was talking about. So the first issue is solved. And the second issue we need to solve is when we try to use the finger gestures to rotate and scale the model, we are basically touching the screen and the touch is registered on the horizontal plane as well. And that will cause the model to shift its position because it is just like tapping on the horizontal plane. So to fix that, we need to add a button that is going to turn off the plane detection when we are done with placing our model on the horizontal plane. So let's do that. First of all, create a button, right click, UI, button, go to canvas and change the UI scale mode to scale with screen size. And now let's change the position of the button. And let's change the text to stop detection. Give it some constraints, bottom center constraint as it is in the bottom center position. And now let's write some code which will get called when we press this button. And that code will turn off the plane detection. So the code which we have to write is in AR hit test example script. So I'll just search for it AR hit test example. Just open the script. So first of all, I'll just create a boolean variable private bool is detecting. If the value of this variable is true, that means the plane detection is on. And if the value is false, that means the plane detection has been disabled. So initially, when we start the app and look for the horizontal surface, the plane detection is true. So inside the start function, public void start is detecting is equal to true and let's create another function for turning off plane detection public void detection off is detecting equals to false and we are going to link this function to this button right here, stop detection. So whenever this is pressed, the plane detection will stop. And then go to this if statement, this one. First, let's put some braces. And now type in and if is detection equals to true, the below code will be executed and this code is basically for placing the object when we touch on the horizontal plane so if is detecting is true then we can move the object and if is detecting is equal to false then we will not be able to move the object so this is basically going to prevent the accidental touches which will happen when we do the pinch to zoom and rotation gestures and we just need to add a small piece of code because when we run the application and place the model on the horizontal plane and then touch this button, the touch will be passed through this button and it will hit the horizontal plane. So that will change the position of the model and we don't want that. And to prevent that, we just have to paste one function. So I'll just paste this function. So you can just pause the video and copy this function. And for this function, we need to import a package. So just type in using Unity Engine dot event systems. And inside this if statement, just type in and 
pointer is not over UI object. Like this. And finally, let's link this function to our button. So just click on the button and add an on click method. And first of all, just drag this chair inside the shadow plane prefab so that it is just one object and add the hit test example script drag the hit cube parent inside the hit transform and now click on the button and drag this object right here choose the function detection off and now let's run the application and see if everything is as we expected. Select the scene, Unity AR kit scene, switch the platforms to iOS, go to player settings and make sure that there is a camera usage description here and change the target minimum iOS version to 11.0, build and save it somewhere else like desktop or something. Give a name to the iOS build. I'll just name it scale and rotate. Just open the project, change the team, press play.